press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hey what's up guys this is Roy and welcome to another fixing video guys and today in this video we're going to fix this power adapter jack this one guys so basically guys I have this LED light is Yangian YN303 LED lights and it's powered by this adapter and now somehow it's melted down this front connector I say it guys and because of this i am not able to use the light and this adapter comes pretty expensive it's near about 10 dollar 8.5 volt 5 amps adapter and today in this video i'm going to show you guys like how to replace this kind of jack and you guys can find this kind of jack on any power adapter like this is a router adapter uh this on will work too so if you don't have a replacement jack like me like this kind of jack you can use your old power adapter that is dead and use it where and join with this where uh, that will fix problem but as i have this jack uh it's near about few pennies i think i buy it uh near about uh, 10 indian rupees i'll leave a uh, ebay link in the description below so check the description guys Replacing this kind of jack is so simple anyone can do this but uh, so many people don't know how to do that That's the reason I'm making this video guys. So because of what you see like this jack is kind of melted down the plastic uh, Front of the plastic you guys can see this kind of melted down and because of this I have some loose connection with my LED light and so I was thinking about fixing it for last few days so I thought like let's make a video and share with the world so anybody have this problem can fix it so as you see guys it has power so people doing anything uh, turn the power supply off and now cut the jack around here probably here so after removing the plastic cover we will get two wets one is white another one is black so this black probably negative and this white is probably positive but we don't know so we'll remove little bit plastic cover from this side and little bit from that side then we'll power it on and check the voltage using a multimeter set it to 20 volt uh, this is probably the negative and this is the positive Yes, I'm right. This white is positive and this black is negative. And next, we just need to solder these two wires here. Uh, this is the positive and this side is negative. Couple of heat shrink tube for insulation. Put it inside the wires. Yes. Before soldering, we just need to rub this surface with a sandpaper. Now put some plugs before soldering, it's a good idea. Uh, this is the ground, means negative. And this side is the positive. So as you see guys, the soldering is done. Now we're inserting a little bit insulator between two of these negative and positive. So there is zero chances for any kind of short circuit. So now close this thing. So now the jack is replaced and it's looking pretty good. Let's give it a test guys. So this is the light. Turn it on, so as you see guys, the light is working and there is no loose connection. So guys, thanks for watching this video, hope you like this video and if you like it, make sure to smack a big thumbs up on this video. Meet with you on my next video, till then, bye bye.